All right, I'm going to show you how to tie a Carolina rig the way I do it. This is the way I learned how to do it. These are the knots I use, but you guys use what works best for you guys. This is only to show you how I do it. Everybody can learn something new, that's for sure. So, all right, in order to do this, you'll need your, you'll need your rod and reel already spooled up. This is my spinning and my 12 foot heavy duty rod right here i'm gonna tie this on too all right first things first since i'm gonna tie this on as a straight carolina ring you need to figure out what size of weight your rod can handle it should say on there the lure or lure weight make sure you don't go over that because you could break the rod tip off if you do one too heavy but here we go all right i'm gonna this is a five ounce no roll sinker right here feed that through and then you can put a bead on there but i found with this 80 pound 80 pound pro cap braid I just put on here you don't really need that and I'm just gonna take a regular heavy duty swivel and I'm just gonna tie this on using a polymer knot which is you just make a loop tie it overhand with the loop going through like so and then you feed that through there wet it and then pull it tight all right and then that's you're gonna need i should say trim this tail right here trim that tail and then next you're gonna need your mono which this is 55 pound Berkeley trialing big gain here all right you take your mono I know this is gonna be hard to see but I just tie a improved clinch knot where it meets the swivel but I'll get to that in a minute right now I'm going to pick out a circle hook to put on there I think I'm going to put on these are uh, these green ones are number four uh, pro cat hooks I got at academy circle hooks got them at academy and for the snail I come through like to or towards the point and then i'll twist it at least six times around the shaft and then i go back through and then the way to tell if you did it right is you want it to be able to hook something I meaning if you drag it across your hand and you see how it's lining up right there to poke me right there that's how you want it rigged up and then of course make sure that snell is nice and tight and make sure it stays tight and then i want to go ahead and put on on this one i'm going to go and put on some rattles on here
and then you bring your swivel over that's hooked into your rod and reel and then I'll tie a clinch knot which is you just run it through the eye like that and then you just twist twist it six to seven times and then run it through and then run it back through don't forget to wet it whoops I let go of the tail tag in but you can see here it's pretty quick to tie twist it up run through and then run back through like so and then pull tight Pull that tight like so and then cut off that tag end close it doesn't have to be flush cut like so and that's how I tie up a Carolina rig and you do not have to use rattles if you don't want I just had these and I wanted to put it on one so that's how I tie a Carolina rig.